So we're gonna make the mojito. And I know I say those words and many of you are already cringing, but the mojito is one of those drinks that when it's made correctly, it is just absolutely beautifully tasty. That's why people order them all the time. And the truth is it's not that hard a drink to make if you have the tools and if you're ready to go. So obviously you need to have fresh mint. It helps to have fresh limes or some fresh lime juice to get this whole thing going. And if you have all those things in a muddler, somebody orders a mojito, it's your time to shine. It's not something you need to be upset about. So here's how easy it can be. We take a sprig. Obviously it's got all the leaves on there. This is great because it's got everything we need to make this drink. I'm gonna take the leaves off of this sprig use each of them in this glass. I'm, I'm gonna build this two ways so I can show you how it's done, but I'm gonna use all of that in one second. I've got my mint in there. I just need my sour mix, uh, which I'm gonna build over top of this now. I'm gonna start by putting in simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup right over the mint. Now I'm gonna stop there for a second and muddle this. Watch how I muddle. You'll notice, unlike some commercials you may have seen, it doesn't take me half an hour and a full dance party to get that mint where I need it to be. Two or three quick spins, all the flavor from the mint is in the veins of the leaves. I just opened it up, it's ready to go now. I don't have to do any more than that. It was actually quite easy and a lot of fun and it smells good now. Everything over here smells like mint. That's fantastic. Now I've got the lime juice going and my sour mix is done. I've got mint, sweet, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice and all I need is my rum on top of that. So that drink is gonna taste, it's gonna taste fresh, it's gonna taste minty and limey. So an ounce and a half of light rum, simple, easy. Now this is how I like to do my mojitos. I build them in the glass first and then I like to strain them out so they're nice and clean. I don't like to have those, those bits of mint floating around in the drink. So I like to do it this way, shake it up and you'll see when I shake this drink, I'm gonna strain it over fresh ice and it's gonna be a nice clean mojito. All those flavors mixed up nicely. And then just strain this into my highball glass, Collins glass. Little bits of mint in there, but not a whole lot. Strain that all out. Now I get my Perrier and just give this a spritz. Now I'm not gonna fill this up. The way the ice is falling, it actually left more room in the glass than I intended. So I just, I don't wanna drown this in the, in the soda water. So I'm just gonna put about an ounce of the soda water in there. Again, you've seen that I've done this with some of the other drinks. Just a gentle stir to mix. I don't wanna pick that up and taste the Perrier. I wanna taste the, all the drink integrated with the Perrier so I get all those things together. Now I add my mint sprig. See, I have that after taking the leaves off. Just break off the long part and get rid of it. I have my sprig top. Gentle slap just to open up the veins like we talked about. All that flavor is in there. And that's a beautiful, fresh, clean mojito. Now. Many of you are saying, I don't do mine that way. I understand, there's another way to, to do this process. We could build the whole thing in the glass. Some people like the, the speed of that and th think that it speeds up the process a little bit, which is fine. So we'll just take our same formula, three quarters of an ounce of our simple syrup, take our sprig again, pull off our leaves. Now again, if you were gonna do this, you'd think about what would a kitchen do if it was gonna make a whole bunch of something? It would prep it, it would do the mise en place to be prepared for everything that's coming your way that night. Have a bunch of mint leaves and sprigs picked and plucked and ready to go so that all you have to do is grab a few out of your bowl and throw them at the bottom of this glass. There, a little bit of muddling to open up the flavor of the mint. Finish up my sour formula here. Three quarters of an ounce of lime and then my rum to get all the flavors of the lime, the mint, the rum working together. Ounce and a half of that. Now, just to finish this up, I need some good, for this style, some good crushed ice so I can get all those flavors working together. And then just give it a nice mix. Get the flavors coming together. You can drag some of this mint up so that it looks pretty along the side of the glass. Once I've done that, just finish it up with a little spritz, the soda. Again, just wakes it up, those little bit of bubbles, give it that nice fresh flavor. Everything mixes together, you got your mint leaves in there. Now my thing is sometimes you see those things that get caught in people's teeth and you get smiling a big piece of, uh, of mint leaf winking at you when you say hello to them. But it does look pretty delicious. So two styles of making the mojito. One in the glass, one fresh and clean over ice. Take your pick. The formula is the same, so it's always nice and easy to make the mojito. Everybody loves them, so start making them the right way.